All right, just got past the first part of this level. Bunch of guys all wearing like uh, flaming, uh, you know, flamer suits, like anti-heat suits, and wearing like really heavy armor. I couldn't quite, couldn't quite stealth through it. Oh my god, these little lights everywhere really mess you up. Let's see, there's a guy there, and there was a guy up top. Let me just take this guy out. Oh boy. <laughs> I can't win. Wow, I cannot win with this stealth. Holy shit. Try not to get frustrated, but man, having a get into a firefight every five seconds is annoying. I think this guy might have lost. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Behind cover. I got no pressure left in this thing. I, I don't get what the hell's wrong with hit markers in this game. I can't seem to get a hit twice in a row. Huh. Alright, let me move up a little bit. Let me also get my grenades out. I think I'm good. Dead bodies. No. Whoop. Not going that way. I have no idea what they're shooting at right now. Ooh, what was it, guys? Like a silencer and a scope on it? Hell yeah. Oh, nice. Sometimes these, like, IR scopes or night vision scopes, whatever the hell they're called in the game, they're a bit difficult to use because they have a very narrow cone of vision. There we go. Yeah, heads up. There we go. Why is hard to spot guys in here? Switch out my filter. Yeah, I can't go this way. I'm guessing up. There's a guy right there. Oh. 
Pack. Casualty! Keeping the I can't. <laughs> oh boy, I can't seem to keep stealth in here. I mean, I know I kind of snuck up on this guy, but it's just like every time one guy sees me, three other guys just pop out and just start like firing at me from like across the fucking hallway. I missed the days where it was like, did you hear that? <laughs> And they'd come like walking in right into your trap. Oh well. Go back that way. Oh, there they go. These guys are just taking a fucking half a clip. Shit! Hurts like a bitch! Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That guy seriously just died from his wounds. Like, I, I was shooting him, and then he, like, sat in the corner for a little while. And then he eventually just died on his own. Whatever works. I thought this part of the game was really cool, all the fire and like the sweat on your mask and you actually can stealth through here. It's apparently it's very difficult. I know I did okay the first time I came through here though, so can't be that hard, but yeah, I, I thought it really like showcased like the game's ability to like um, render like a lot of things at once, like the flames, the enemies, like all the debris that like falls down while you're walking through. I think it's pretty cool. I think that door right there is my uh, ticket out of here. Intruder! <laughs> her job? Stand still, or I slit her throat. Now, if you stand still, you get an achievement here. So you came for Anna? Very heroic, but not very smart. Here is the deal: you take off your mask. And I give her to you. I'll count to five. Yeah. Don't do this, Artyom. You can actually He'll take kill off me your anyway. mask. He already betrayed and, us uh, once. One. Here we go. <laughs> Why? Why did you do that? <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> we have to get caught, Savaya. Let's go. Choking here. There's Hansa. <laughs> and our men. <laughs> Suffocating would be a real shame after <laughs> surviving all that. Seen some shit. The pieces of the puzzle are falling together. And the big picture is horrifying and unbelievable. I will tell the others about this, but I still can't make myself believe it. The Reds have infected Oktyabraskaya, a peaceful station denizens of which never suspected anything, with an unknown deadly virus. And then their mop-up squads entered it under the pretense of saving the station from the epidemic and eliminated everyone they could. Women, children, old people. To prevent the infection from spreading. And if all this is true, then me and Anna could be infected too. We've been saved from being killed. But 
We don't know if we're going to survive for long. I have a feeling that everything will end soon. We won't survive this war, Artyom. No one will. I feel alone again. Like when I was a girl, and father was away on a mission. Nothing around me. Empty and cold. As if I were just... a spark from the fire, flying away and then... gone. It's hard for me to tell you these things, Artyom. But I want to feel that I'm... alive. Touch me. Well, hmm, there seems to be nothing wrong with you. Congratulations, youngsters. You, Artyom, may go. While you, Anna, you have to stay some more. We need to finish treating your wound. <sighs> Thank God. Well, what are you waiting for? Go! Go, Artyom. I'll find you as soon as they finish patching me up. Yeah, a little rest and relaxation for Artyom and Anna. But no, I want to get here, I want to get serious Don't for a second. I actually think that that uh, sex scene, for lack of a better word, that just happened. I think it's like one of the best I've seen in a game because it's not like out and out like like she just takes off her shirt and just like jumps his bones. Like they've just been through a pretty like life altering experience, like almost dying. So it's like I like the conversation she has, like you know, like she wants to feel alive and all that stuff. Like it's not, it's not like a God of War sex scene or like a, even like a Mass Effect sex scene where it's like, oh, you're so big and brave, like do me. So I just wanted to say, I, I think that was a well done scene. Anybody? So? What do I do now? What do I do, doctor? But yeah, you after that, this is all pretty you messed up. All these quarantine rooms and isolation chambers and stuff, it's messed up. Yes, I know that. They've been told to handle their stuff and yet look at all this shit. Can you imagine trying to set up like an infirmary in a place like this? You'd never get it clean. You'd never keep everything clean. You'd, you'd need so many antibiotics and stuff like that. Because, like, a metro was never clean to begin with. So, it's like setting up an infirmary so, in your fucking you closet. Yes, and the pit, the pit you are to really but trying to cultivate it is useless. It's basically non virulent now. Without the original strain. Doctor, you know I'm no medic. Please explain. Uh, I'm sorry, Colonel. Here are the facts. In the first two days, the mortality rate was around 95%. In the third, it dropped to about 25%. Today, we only have two new infected, and they have a light infection, prospects of recovery looking promising. Now, as you understand, Moscow never was a natural habitat for this virus, and in its wild form, it remains dangerous much longer. So, what does all this mean? It is not a regular virus. It's a weapons-grade strain, engineered to achieve maximum lethality within a short time, and then turn harmless. Damnation. Where did it come from? That's my stuff. <laughs> yeah, I love all the detail put in these environments. There's like lights and tarps and... Guards standing around, there's guard gates, there's piles of junk everywhere. It's good, there's a lot of detail in, the, in these environments. Thanks, buddy. Stop! 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 Stop!
It's messed up. It's like how every zombie movie starts. You start rushing the gates and then all hell breaks loose. It's messed up. Trying to maintain that order. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Growing them shrooms. I'm happy to know that you and Anna are all right. We can't afford to waste time being sick now. The dark one we're looking for could really be the last one. We can't lose him. Let's go. But I have to go. But I have to go back for her insulin. She'll die without it. Go buy some here. I can't let you go. Please let me through. Please let me through. The refugees sure were lucky, because Tomlin's rangers were here. Corbett's men clearly didn't expect to be met with machine gun fire. So, all this stuff still there? could not protect the station without help, but they did provide shelter for the refugees and the hospital. Perhaps that could help them. Sorry, that's forbidden without a permit. That's our man. Lay this one through. He got a permit. I think you should stock up on filters and ammo, Artyom. You probably won't have such a chance any time. Well, we sure got lucky the Rangers were here. Why did they fight anyway? What Come here, Ranger! I got great Let's weapons! see what we got here. I'll probably just end up... Well, what are these? Two bolts apiece? One grenade can take multiple targets out. Very profitable. Hey, Ranger! How about some ammo? Based box shot is made in hands. I can't. You can take that. Oh yeah, because it holds 20 bolts. <laughs> I got full ammo on that bad boy. I'll just keep it. I'll keep my other ammo. Good luck with your trade. Is anybody selling weapons? I miss him. Oh here we go. Hey, some throwing. Here we go. for doing stuff like this from the very beginning. I need to customize. I don't like the sight on it. Grenades, Two times sight might work, but I think I think just a reflex sight will be fine. Have some mines too at a special price. Come, come, take a look, Ranger. I have everything. I don't need a sight on that. No silencer. Get the hell out of here. It's a laser sight. As long as yeah, as long as they overlap, that'd be pretty cool. I'm good. Bye. Come back any time. We'll handle some more. Come on, take a look. I bet you don't have these in Sparta. Artyom, take note of the funds Hanser expends on this quarantine. And they are generally quite reserved with their money. Perhaps they are aiming for an additional trump card to use in negotiations at Polis. That's the problem with this game. A lot of the conversations overlap, and it's hard to hear them unless you have the subtitles on. Even when you do, the subtitles don't overlap, so you kind of have to pick and choose what conversations you listen to and which ones you read. It also makes it really hard for me to talk. <laughs> In some other time and place, what happened could be life-changing. But there is no time but present, and no place but the metro for us. And we must do everything we can to save it. I have to hurry and catch up with the Dark One. Anna has to tell her father of what Korbut and Moskvin are doing. Anything else is a luxury we can't afford right now. We've got outgoing! Open up! 
Soon, the leaders of Hansa, Redline, and Reich will meet in Polis, hoping to reach a peaceful settlement on D6. But I know the nature of man all too well, Artyom. War is as certain as the fall of night, unless a miracle happens. Well, we won't catch the train with the Dark One moving along the tunnel. But there is another way. All right. Are you going to Polis? No. Open the Interline Tunnel for me. But the Interline is a dead end, and very dangerous. A dead end? No way. That's our road to Polis. Open up. Let's go, Artyom. <laughs> 